Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 34 of Direwolf20's server play series. What are we doing to the cow farm thing? I have no idea. <laughs> no, you know. Don't pretend like you don't know what's happening. I wasn't really paying attention. Soren really probably don't, knows. Because there's a magical fence keeping them all in. Well, I broke the magical fence, though. It can't be broken, it's magic. It responds. No, I, no because I put... I put the block down, and then oh. the animals were jumping on the blocks, and they were going outside. Yeah, but then you remove the block, right? No, it, it's the the block is where the fence used to be. Yeah, but the fence comes back when you break the block. No, I just left it there. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I don't see it there. I put it, I put glass there. It's it's gone. Somebody broke it. Okay, so they're all protected, and none of them are moving. Correct. So okay. Ari's building something really cool, but I don't know if I want to spoil it yet. Should we wait until it's done and show off the final product, Ari? I mean, I think it would be nice to show something that I did on my own to yeah. show everyone how far we've come. I okay. was really impressed with, like, what you've done all by yourself. Like, this was all by yourself, like, not me involved at all. Like, but do you want to wait no. until it's all done? I think we should wait until it's done before we show it off. Okay. You I think it would be cool. Applesauce. Right? Boss levels is nice. Well, like you, you, you're more the boss than me. No, that's not true. Soren, so I think I I'll... think you should know, Soren, that while you were away for a week, I was basically Ari's sidekick, and she was like, I, you know, <laughs> help me out. Like, let's it, build an AE system. So let's true. let's I'm get so some stuff for agriculture. <laughs> like, we no, automated it's okay. agriculture. He was being really helpful. We we put the menu in the restaurant, and I gave him a bunch of like to random to do lists for whenever he gets like time to do random things. Yeah, dire. Here's a doggy treat. Yay. He, he he automated my farm, Soren, by the way. Dyer, yeah. oh, I fixed it all by myself earlier today. Nice. It was broken. It was all the way in the middle of the oh. lake, yeah. and I went and got it, and then I put it back where you told me to, the right direction, and then I typed in the command, and it worked on its own. I apparently lost my sword along the way. So Hi, Amar, why are you like, whoa, holy? Oh, yeah. The effect that's... is amazing. Yeah. Well, it's Azanor. <laughs> Oh, dude! <laughs> what just happened? There's something in my face. <laughs> it's okay. It's Soren. He's breaking things. Your inventory is on the ground there. Yeah, I saw that coming. Soren, don't use that. Um, don't use that bow. Don't use the bow. I got it now. <laughs> like, do you know what the bow does? Insta death to admins. Well, wow, my uh, no client crash. <laughs> the you remember what used to happen with the um the flight thing from Thomcraft? Where it did all that broken texture stuff all over the place? Soren? Oh. Yeah, the bow does that now. Okay. Um, Just break I, it. Hi, Amar, break it. That uh, kick actually crashed my client. <laughs> what? Is yeah. it the Thomcraft crash? Thomcraft client live graphic sticker. <laughs> yeah, that crashes me every time I disconnect. It's a Thomcraft bug. <laughs> well, I would say that's repaid in full. <laughs> Oh, so the effect I saw was actually your armor? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and hit me. It's all right. I have lots of Because all I did was hit you with a Tigger's Construct pan. My yeah. Rapanzel. Mm -hmm. Nope. The sound armor. is hilarious. Nice. Clang. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's the armor I'm wearing. It's the Thomcraft armor. What's cool is it's like magical armor, so it doesn't actually like render on your player much. Which I kind of like. Like, there's too much armor that covers up the player models, and, you know, people have skins for a reason, says Direwolf. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, I mean, you did change that one pixel, so... Right, exactly. How do you spell Rapunzel? Uh, Rapunzel? R-A-P... Really? It's an A? N-Z-E-L. Okay. So, Soren, we have things to make, right? I'm gonna sleep through the night real quick because it's raining. As soon as I get back on. Okay. Hey, do you guys know that the the tinkers um, glass is weird and broken? Granted. Is it? I killed that person, but yeah. the clear Details. glass plane. Um, when you look at it from one side, it's normal. When you look at it from the reverse side, you can see all of the um breaks in the glass. Really? The only thing I dislike yeah. about modern Minecraft. And there he goes. <laughs> Is, and then nothing. Hey, we got sync on the server. Hooray! Thank you, Pymar. I have yet to see it. 
you're gonna really i here's the thing that's not fair i don't know should we should we play with sync today i wanted to play with sync today i mean like i said you're the boss applesauce thank you all right guys what we're gonna do is get ready to play with sync i need to craft a couple things and then we'll be back all right, guys, so the first thing we got to do with sync is make sync cores. These guys are going to be important, so I'm going to make a few of them. Four sounds like a good plan. So we're going to want at least one shell constructor, right, Soren? Yep. Yeah. Uh, one constructor and then and one storage. storage. Okay. How about two storage? I think I want two storage. Two storage would be good if you want to switch between them. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much what I want to do. Yep. So we got shell storage, shell storage, shell constructor, and then we want the treadmill. Yep. And I have the pig for pigawatts. Excellent. Is he trapped in a in a little thing? Yep. Nice. So do we want to have the constructor in our base, or do we want to put one in the workshop for everyone to use? Uh... For now, we should probably just put it down here. And we, I want to see if we can actually charge it with RF. I never did check that. No, you can. I'd rather charge it with the way it's intended, though, first. Okay. Where are you at? I'm right beside you. Oh, okay, cool. You're Pahimar. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. You just wanted the Pahi skin. Maybe. I didn't really need to kill him at that point, though. <laughs> All right, really where, uh, where do you want to put this thing? Like, over here somewhere? Yeah, maybe just in this corner somewhere. How about back here? Like, we'll put it, like, like right along this wall, maybe? Yeah. All right, so I'm thinking, like, we're definitely going to want the shell constructor. That goes there, right? Yep, and then the pig wads have to be hooked up to it. Facing it, though, right? Yeah, so. It places opposite the way you would think. I know. I guess. All right, so he runs on and it. And then just right-click the constructor? Okay, with my empty hand? Yep. Ow. And look, it's starting to build your pixels. Go, Constructor, go! It's building so fast, though. I know, this is kind of why I want the RF. <laughs> okay, I can, I can see now why you wanted the RF. Let's... But let's... I understand the point of the pigawatts. It's so fun to say. Is right? it called a pigawatt? Yeah. yeah. Like the animal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a treadmill powered by... Food. Why don't you uh, come to our base and we'll show you. I thought... Are you sure? I don't want to ruin the surprise. No, it's okay. I'm streaming, so we're good. Yeah, come on over. Okay. Let me finish this project. Okay. Okay. User joined your channel. Now, here's a better question. Did he make it to where somebody can just run on one of these treadmills? Just a normal player? No. Oh, I was just going to suggest have Soren run on it. I tried that um, <laughs> during the 24-hour live stream. That would be kind of cool. I kind of want this to not output too fast. I'm going to drop it down to, like... This should work, actually. Like, we shouldn't need any stuff, Soren. Okay. I'm going to bump it down to, like, 100 and see what happens. So, output on the left. Ooh. I That's a little faster. Work. How's that any better? Yeah, I see an improvement. Just... I'm not seeing an improvement. I just bumped it up to 1500. That should be a ridiculous amount of RF, by the way. Actually, the number's not going down either. Do a redstone energy conduit, I guess. There we go. I, I thought he set it up so that it could. Maybe it has to be plugged into the bottom? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I like what happens when you break effect. it. <laughs> that's funny when you break it. <laughs> did you see that? That was awesome. I did. That was really cool. All right, looks like we have to start it over. That's weird. I could have sworn he had it working with resonant energy cells. I'm at your base. Okay, right, I'll come to you. I see your Thanks. name down there. Come on we're down. We're by the stairs. 
We're down here. Okay. Pigawatts. <laughs> <laughs> and it's powering the construction of a dire clone. Slowly it makes but surely. A clone? Yeah, it's yeah. Clone. To do what? To basically be a shell that he can switch between. So think of like Avatar. Yeah. Pretty much. In a way. They made Avatar. Yeah. Uh In kinda order yeah. To a switch bit. back, it's you have to go into a storage unit. You can select her yeah. a whole range of Like Avatar. Shows. Yes. Or like Eve Online. What? Let's go with Avatar. Let's go with the blue Pocahontas version, yeah. I like that one better. So what if I dancing with wolves? If it made me, would it look like a Steve or would it look like a me? It would look like yeah, you, your skin. Oh. It, this one will look like Steve because it's dire, but. If you put two treadmills oh. with two pigs, would it go faster? Yeah, but it's supposed to be able to run off this resident energy cell. So I'm asking Pig right now. Like, uh, we lost. Uh, he says yes. I mean, the poor pig though. We're not very here. nice to animals on this server. Between the constantly milked cow and the pig, it says I have to relog to see the change visually. You check that, Soren. Oh hey, whoa, it's done. Yeah. Oh okay. I was gonna say it should be like pretty darn fast with all that power going into it. Let me relog right. too. All right, guys. Let's see if this works now. Is it going? I might have to relog. Okay, here we go. Uh, the, the the conduits do work, but you have to relog, and it just is not nearly as cool looking. So I'm gonna make a clone now with three pigs running this treadmill, and we're gonna see this thing grow. So we'll be back in a few minutes once uh, we've got some awesomeness happening. All right, guys. So I decided to place the um, storage units here. So me and Soren are each gonna have one. Um, we could probably cover up most of this now, Soren. We'll need a third one if we want to be able to switch both of us. Will we? Okay. Yeah. We can make another one. That's not a problem. So yeah. when I stand inside this, it should indicate to me how far along the thing is. So it's 43% complete at this point. That is cool. Mm -hmm. How do I close this little screen? Escape. Have... Escape. But then that opens oh. the game menu. I was hoping there was a better oh, way. Oh, just walk forward. Oh, you can? Oh, okay, that, that's easy then. Nice. All right, so uh, it's still building a dire wolf. It's about to get to the cool part, I think. In a yeah, minute. that was yeah. the cool part. Yeah, we'll be back in a second when it's almost there. All right, guys, according to this thing, we're like partway there, 92%. Nice. That's oh, cool. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, Best it's part? about to go. Let's oh. see. Oh. Watch, watch, watch. There it is. Oh, there I am. So cool. Whoa. How He's cool is spray that? Painted. That is so fancy. Isn't that nice? I like the devil pig in the background there. So I'm, I'm ready That's now, awesome. right? That's awesome. Yeah, just go in. So you ready? Watch this. Watch. Whoosh. Oh, I saw the, I saw it transfer. I saw your soul. Did you? <gasps> that is so weird. Is, the hat. is that cool? She... The thing that transfers is the hat. Is that it? I need to watch you it on your screen now. the dire soul. So then I, I need to put myself in the shell storage to transfer to the other yeah. one, right? I can't put myself back in the constructor. No. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a shell in. storage and I'm going to put it in the workshop. Okay. That is the craziest thing. It is. Isn't that cool? I'm watching on your stream now, Soren. I want to see this. Shell storage is what I want. Just craft a whole bunch of the sync cores. I did. I made a bunch of them. I'm, I might even program the AE system just because. Nice. That sounds like a good a good time for me. <laughs> You're like, hey, what's the cord? Okay, bam, I'm right there. I'm going to need another set of armor <laughs> because I'm really slow now. <laughs> yep. Yep. You could also have the uh, ender pouch on all your characters and just have it there. 
Uh, yeah, I guess I could. You know what you could do is you could set it up so that like a computer craft pem thing like takes all your armor and gear <laughs> and stores it yeah. as soon as you walk into like the shell storage. That might be cool. And when you step out, it puts it on. Yeah. All right, let's sink back. Oh wait, I need a redstone signal, right? Uh, that's trickier than. You should it come look at our AE system over here, Ari. Uh, let's see. Do I have a redstone signal type? I've thing stolen anywhere? stuff out of your AE system when you aren't here. Good. That's what it's there for. I love this button. Ah! <laughs> All right, I'm no! going over here. Oh, Soren. There. There's what's Soren. the best part? The best part about this entire setup is that I know I get trapped down here because Dyer's here, so I made a little bat case. <laughs> and then you okay. just go, bloop. <laughs> Are you trapping people? Do you, have, no. do you have a nether portal in here? No. We have the nether book in the workshop. Away! The uh, monitor. Oh, that is cool. I'm back. Hello. Hi. What? Oh. Yeah. I synced back. All right, are you going to make a clone now? It's working on it. Yeah, there, we there go. it goes. All right. Soren clone activated. That is fun. We're going to have to have some fun with this thing, Soren. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll be back. All right, guys. We're back, and I made something a little cool. Uh, Soren, go stand on that little blue thing. Just stand there and stay still a second. Oh. <laughs> Look in the chest. Ooh. Step off. Step back on. Ooh. How cool is that? I like it. So what I did is I, I programmed this uh, little PIM, which is a player interface something or other, and uh, it can interact with the player as if the player were in inventory. So just like I can move items from one chest to another, if a player is standing there, I can move items from one from the player to the chest, as if the player were in inventory, like I was a chest, but I'm not. Nice. Uh, so what I did is I programmed it to get slots 1 through 9, which is your hotbar, and slots 37 through 40, which is your armor, and dump it into the chest. Interesting. Ta-da! I like it. And then it puts it all in corresponding inventory slots. So, like, it puts it in slots 1 through 9, and then slots, like, 10 through 14 or whatever. Because, uh, obviously, an ender chest isn't enough to hold all the inventory a player has. So I figured, like, if we're going to be using these little guys to, to sync between, you know, the, the, the different positions... Ah, oh, it's a Soren clone. Uh, then we can just... <laughs> basically, all we'd want is whatever's on our hot bar plus whatever's on our, um, you know, our, our armor, right? Uh -huh. So that's kind of the plan. So I'm going to go, um, actually, I'm going to go deposit this stuff. Well, I need to go to the, this corner. what's that? You want to check out this corner? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> that's not good. Why are their heads spinning? It's because, okay. So iTunes has it that if either you or I are in the game, yeah. they look to us. It's a little bugged, but... The idea is that they slowly turn their heads to look at you. Really? Uh-huh. But it's only so, me and you? Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to remember that when I spotlight this mod, which should be soonish. Nice. All right, so I'm going to set up, like, the same thing over here, but I need... Can I move the shell storage without destroying my avatar? I'm guessing no, right? I don't think so. All right, so I what I'm going to have to do... I can check with this. Oh. I'm pretty sure it'll destroy it. It destroys it. Yeah. So what we're going to want to have here is, like, another him with another inventory on the side. And these guys are going to need to be locked. Um, and then on the other side of that PIM, so we're basically going to step up, and then we'll want the inventory, like, here. So all I really need to do now is copy this code. Um... Now, there's one thing you're going to have to... Why is there a moose room in the workshop? Yeah, I, the animals got free for uh, one reason. That's not cool. Nope. So let's, the, uh, let's do this. You ready? Um, I'm going to paste spin the code. Everybody run! Whoa. Ari's making progress. All right, so there's the paste spin of this code. 
for those of you who want it. It's very sloppy and not well written and probably could be much better. But it like basic, very basic functionality. He really works. likes black. <laughs> So you can tell like my code's not really done because the program's name is test. <laughs> <laughs> but I uploaded it anyway because I figured you guys would probably want it. Um, it's not the greatest, but it, like I said, functions in a semi barely functional way. All right, so let's do this. All I gotta do now is pull it down. That's that, right? Okay, cool. And then I, the only thing we have to change is what direction the chest is on. So the chest is on the north side, like face that direction, the chest is north. So all you have to do is change the code and change this to be north instead of east. There's four places you have to change it. So here. And here. I might as well just click it. And here. And basically what I'm doing is I have a function called empty player and a function called fill player. And empty player moves from the uh, player position to the chest and fill player does the opposite. Um, and then it basically says if there's an item in slot one, then I assume that the player has items in his inventory. So I'm going to run the empty player. Otherwise, I'm going to run the full player. And that's pretty much it. All right. So let's test this guy now. You ready? Cool, it works. And testing again. Ta-da! So all I want to do, that is awesome, by the way. I'm loving that that's working. It's my, yeah, my memory's going a little crazy at the moment. So that's pretty much what we're going to want to have set up. So what I'm going to do now is um, actually make the switch. Um, so let's see. I've got to go over here. This is cool, Soren. You're going to have to make your own PIM, but you can steal my code. Oh, okay. Yeah, just make your own. Yeah, you, you, you need you need two of each under chest and all that stuff. All right, so here goes. Ready? If I step on here, and then I can travel through, and away we go. <laughs> Whoosh! Right. Are you heading to the workshop or something? Yeah. Because I want to I want to move the chamber, so I had to move my player anyway. Yeah. And then normally I would come out and I'd just stand here and I'd get my armor and stuff back. That is cool. And now I can move this thing. And this thing. And I basically want it to be here. So what we'd wind up with is something like this. You ready? So I'm ready to go back to my base. So I, oops, I need to actually stand there for a second. I can't get off until it finishes clearing. Yeah. So it takes it takes more than a second. Cool. That is so awesome. Here she'll notice. Takes about a second to drain your inventory. And then yeah, that's not bad. we switch back. And we're back in this dude. And we walk out, get our stuff back, and we're back to going. That is cool. Mm. I am liking that. Let me get a bunch of stone bricks to make this look good. And I'm tired of the lag spikes from jumping between dimensions too often, so I'll be back after restarting my client. All right, guys, so it's built. You ready? Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to step into this thing. It's going to drain all that stuff, and then I'm going to go through here. Actually, I don't want to I don't want to go yet because I don't want this to be in my inventory. There we go. All right, now we can go. Slot one is the critical one. If there's an item in slot one, it assumes that your stuff is there, so it'll empty your inventory instead of fill it. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> That is the coolest thing ever. And then if I want to go back to the workshop, boom. Travel through and go. Not that, you know, book travel is in any way bad, but, I mean, there's something to be said for having a clone. <laughs> and then if it doesn't yes. fill your inventory all the way, just, like, step back on. There we go. That'll fill it up. 
it's pretty quick, but it still is more than like instant or, you know, so unfortunately you kind of have to deal with it. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute. Soren, why are you making so many clones? <laughs> I'm just looking at like your many clones and I'm getting a little nervous. He wants I to want, take over the world. I want a legion of Sorens. Yeah. Just I, no. I, I can see that. You could just say like, hey man, I want to record it. Bam. Right there. You know, I'm awfully proud of this. There's only like one little problem and that is I would like it so that it's harder to accidentally step off the platform. Because if you step off too fast, it's it's not good. But I'll come up with something. Ha, <laughs> that's so fun. Push. So I'm clone number four. That's so, a terrifying um, thing that you just said. <laughs> so how many clones are you going to make, Soren? The question is how many I'm not going to make. Uh, I did it all by myself, Dyer. What's that? <laughs> I made all the dyes. Oh. Nice. Do you want to see the thing in the workshop? It's really cool. Oh, yeah. Hold on one sec. He's, He's going very to make his. He's going to make as many clones as there is GU matter on the server. That's that would a be really zero. terrifying thing that you just said. Don't you ever say it again. It's like zero UU matter on, <laughs> so that's not that many. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so I think we've got a really neat syncing system here. I left my clone on this side, but I have it set up so that, you know, player steps on pressure plate and chest and all that stuff happens. And am I lagging or what? Probably lagging. This server no, kind of crashed. It's... So I think the server's crashing, so I think we're going to wrap up the episode. <laughs> so this is Daryl20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take